Granny. Today, I would like to talk to you about abuse. This is a very serious subject, and it's been around for such a long time. The first time I was introduced to this is when I was a young girl coming up, and, and I saw my father fight with my mom. This made me very, very sad. But not only was it in my household, I would go to my uncle's house and my auntie's house. It would be in their household. My neighbors outside, I would see it in their household. It was all around me. So I learned about this at a very young age the part about the existence of it, but I never knew the signs, how it originated or how it start. But I remember as a young girl, I told myself, I would never find myself in such a situation. At this age, I was about 10 or 11. But 10 years later, at age 21, I found myself in that situation. And today I would like to talk to you all about the signs. I have five signs to let you know when you are about to be in an abusive relationship or you're already in one. And my first sign is someone that you meet and at a very short time, they're already head over heels up over you. And they're already saying, I love you. Even after a, a day or a couple of weeks, I think that it's way too soon to fall in love with someone before you even get to know them or their personalities or the things that they like or dislike. You can't learn those things in a day. It takes time to get to know people. And one of the first signs of an abusive, uh, abusive relationship is someone loving you more and too fast. Too much and too fast. That was my first sign. I met this guy, and when I first met him, oh, he liked me so much. I don't know whether that came from my own insecurities or what took place and what was going on with me because I was very young. I was I was 20. I was still wet behind the ears. I didn't know anything. My mother was a very um, protect, protective mother. So I didn't have boyfriends or anything like that. So when someone paid attention to me, I was flattered and it was very exciting. But I didn't know that that was a, a sign of you know, heading for an abusive relationship. The second sign was he wanted to go everywhere that I went, and I loved the attention. I thought the atten I thought it was great. Everywhere I went, he wanted to go. So when you saw me, you saw him. But I didn't know that that was a sign that he was trying to, um, like. Uh, block me from having other friends and family around me. But that's what that sign is when, I, when someone want to be with you all the time and they don't want nobody else to be around you. They're trying to block that, that relationship of being around other people or family members. And that happened also, and I thought, oh, this guy just really, really care for me. He really likes me so much that he just want to be with me all the time. And you know when you're in your 20s, early 20s, late teens, you think that's something special if you have a guy that want to be around you all the time because when you first fall in love with someone, they call it puppy love because a puppy just follow you around. So you just be so excited about that type of love, not knowing that it's leading to something more more harmful to you 
and your well-being. And then the next thing that happened in my abusive relationship, in my abusive situation was the guy started telling, he wanted to tell me how to dress and how I didn't need to wear lipstick. I'd never been a heavy makeup person, how I didn't need to put on the eyeshadow. Uh, you know, they start trying to change you. And that's sign number three, when a person come into your life and they like you, and at this time when you got your lipstick on and your eyeshadow on and looking very nice and pretty, that that is what attracted them to you. But once they get in, they think that is too much. You shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that, and they start trying to change you from being who you are. And if you fall for it, you lose yourself, and you find find yourself and your self-esteem going down lower and lower. And when you don't even you don't even want to put on makeup and lipstick and look nice anymore, because that person has broke you down to believe that you don't need that because they they're the only one they only have eyes for you and nobody else should be looking at you and you shouldn't be wanting to fix yourself up just to be pretty for you. That is sign number three. So. I have given you three signs to avoid being caught up in an abusive relationship. And those three signs, again, are falling head over heel over you too fast, wanting to go everywhere that you go. You call that possess. They, they're treating you with possessiveness, possessive behavior and wanting to change you. Those, that is three of the signs that you might be heading for an abusive relationship. Number four is when you've been into this relationship for a while and not a long period of time, maybe let's say six months. Now this person is overly jealous. They just accuse you constantly that you want to be with someone else and you all can't even go out on the town and have a great time without them accusing you of looking at other guys or other females because it could go both ways. They just overly, overly protective or you, over you. Don't want nobody to look at you. They don't want you to look at anybody. That's another sign of abuse. When someone accuses you all the time, that could be mental. That could be mental. So you try to stay away from a person when they have their own insecurities and then they project them on you. That is sign number four. And the last sign is if a person ever lay hands on you in, in any type of abusive way like they might push you real hard, and you and they never put push you or put their hand on you ever before, and you write it off like I just made them so angry to that point. No, if they got that type of anger built up in them already, it's nothing that you did. It's just more to come. Or they might grab you in a very aggressive way, like they trying to hold you from doing something, stop you from doing something, that is a physical sign of abuse. And my case was the the person took their hand in the back of my neck and they did into my skin and scratched me on the back of my neck and they cried and they begged me for forgiveness and said that they would never, ever, 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 ever do it again. And of course, me being young, and in love, I took their word for it. But guess what? That was just a door. I opened the door, and it happened time and time and time again. So, so that you will be aware that these things do happen. And if you ever find yourself in this type of situation, I would like for you all to be very careful because this is nothing to play with. 
and this person will hurt you. So I find so many young girls losing their life over somebody loving them, just loving them to death. And if you find yourself in that situation, please be aware of what you say to this person, the abuser. You have to watch what you say or do around them. You cannot be this young, foolish girl spewing out, you're going to leave, this is what you're going to do because they will hurt you before you get a chance to do any of these things. So what I did in my case is I came up with a plan. I decided I, this is what I would do to get out of this relationship, which was to, I had to pretend like I was in love with this person as much as they loved me, not knowing they had already used their final straw with me. I was done. I was just trying to figure out how to get out. So I had to trick them like I was living in a different state. I wasn't living where I live with my family. So I was living in a different state. I was living out of town with this person. And um, I had to pretend like I was just homesick. And I wanted to go home and see my family, knowing in my heart that I wasn't coming back. So that is how I got away. So I'm just telling you just to be careful when you uh, find yourself in this type of situation. Know that it can be detrimental and you can really be seriously hurt or even death could befall you. And I just want everybody to take abuse very seriously it does happen. It's been around for generation and generation. It's almost a generational curse to some people because it, it's all they know. It's all they saw. But I was in that situation where it was a generational curse, but I broke the curse because I refused to be treated that way. And I said I would never let anyone lay hands on me ever again. And here it is about... 50 years later, and I never got myself caught up in that type of situation. If I saw the signs, I was out. I was gone. I, did, I didn't even give the time of day. So now I'm very cautious uh, on my relationships, and I would like for, to, for you all to always be aware of your surroundings and it's okay to be in love. Love is fun. Love is good. But let it be good love. Don't let it be the kind that hurts. And on that note, I'm going to close there. And I hope you all really enjoyed this video. It's very eye-opening. And if you do like it, click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Granny. I love you. Goodbye.